question for you. No problem. Um, so I smelled marijuana on your vehicle. Did no, you recently no, no, smell? No, 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 no. Once he's arrested for driving with a suspended license, they can search his car. Officer Oliver leaves the car, does a 360, and then goes back in the car, retrieving a sealed liquor bottle and pours it out. That was the sound of the seal on the liquor bottle breaking. Here's another angle. While Officer Muth questions Riley about marijuana again, Did somebody else is smoking your car early. Oliver tosses the empty bottle into the passenger seat. They don't find any marijuana in the car. Here's Officer Oliver implying to Officer Muth that the empty bottle was likely what was in a cup in Riley's center console. Cover where like the knee would sit. There's an opening, and he had it like st uh, tucked. Okay. And then the the whatever he had in his cup also smoked. When you told Officer Muth that the bottle was open, I don't remember my exact um, phrasing. I don't remember what my thought process was behind the statement. I don't remember the conversation. So you don't remember discussing indicators impairment that you saw in Mr. Riley? I don't remember discussing that, no. Did Officer Muth or Sergeant Smith ever convey you that their body-worn camera was on after you had turned yours off? I don't remember that I don't remember. What's good? What's good? I want to do this video uh, in regards to this situation in uh, Tallahassee, I believe, um, where an officer pulled over a black man and charged him with the DUI. Now, as you can clearly see in the video, you can clearly see that she opened the liquor container that was in the man's car and the seal <laughs> was loud as hell. That that shit was louder than the motherfucker pop that that seal snapped crackled and popped <laughs> on that video right and so the police department is still charging him with dui in regards to having an open alcohol container right even though it's on video now the reason why the police department is still going through with the charges is because they know that if you know, they was to admit guilt outright. They're going to be liable for a huge lawsuit. That officer is committing a crime. She will probably be, uh, she's going to be fired, but she should go to jail. Okay. And so the point that I'm saying with this is that as a black man in America, you should probably always have a pending lawsuit against somebody. All right. Black men are a walking lawsuit. They're, they're definitely fight your case because 97 percent of tickets traffic tickets and traffic stops are not contested i niggas just pay it they just plead guilty all i gotta pay it, get back to work that's what fuels the state and the governments to keep on trying to increase revenue with illegal traffic stops because the citizens are dumb as fuck and not fighting back okay they are th these municipalities are breaking laws because they're tr because they're trying to gain revenue you know for the city or whatever okay but you can stop that by not being a pussy okay and do like this black man in the video and fight back because once he beats this case he's gonna sue the fuck out of him and hopefully he gets that officer locked up that officer planted evidence she took his liquor bottle opened that shit up it was very blatant but once again i'm glad this black man is fighting back and in my opinion every time a black man's put over a lawsuit should fight should be followed right after that because these police they're, they're going to fuck up all right they're going to fuck up all right so learn your local state statutes when it comes to traffic stops learn about if your state's a stop and i stop and identify a state these basic things can make you a lot of money when these thirsty ass police officers try to get you hemmed up all right this man he was driving on a suspended license. That should have been the only thing they got him with that day. But no, she tried to go for the kill. And that and the police, Tallahassee or whoever, is trying to protect this little white bitch. But, you know, it's not going to happen. And I hope he sues him. I hope he sues the police officer in federal court. All right? Because, and another thing, too. When people, when you, when you sue after getting pulled over, usually when you're after you beat the case you're suing the city okay because the police officers are agents of cities because police officers a lot of times have immunity but you can pierce that immunity okay 
That immunity goes away if they are blatantly breaking, breaking the law using their positions of power to break the law. Right? It's hard, very hard to prove that, but that is a possibility as well. I think in this case, her immunity would be taken away uh, in regards to a civil rights lawsuit. So um, she, kudos to this black man. Uh, he, finna, he finna come up and uh, black men are walking lawsuits in America. All right. So uh, just saying uh, this is a fucked up form in the short run but in the long term he's going to get paid uh we'll follow up on this later i do appreciate y'all coming through y'all niggas be easy and i'll holler at y'all next time peace mm -hmm.